We are a speck in the middle of a cosmic void, occupying what we call Earth. But in fact, if you come upon our solar system from outside, you know, from, if you're an alien first coming upon our solar system, Earth would be barely noticed by you. You'll notice Saturn, you'll notice Jupiter, and you'll say, what are these, what are these, 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 these balls of rock orbiting closer to the sun? The knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Yes, to learn, no, Earth is not the middle of the universe, neither is the sun, neither is our galaxy, and you're small, you are you in time and in space, this, that's all true. But the cosmic perspective takes a step beyond that, and it allows you to say, to realize that you know, the atoms in your body, the molecules that comprise life, are traceable to stars that manufactured those elements in their crucibles of their core, and then exploded, scattering that enrichment across the galaxy, enabling next generations of stars to form planets, and at least on one planet, life, and at least at this time, people. So we are, we are a participant in the great unfolding of this cosmic story. So people like to think I'm special because I'm different, but there's a whole other way to look at it. Maybe you're special because you're the same. We are part of this universe. We are in this universe. But perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. Because my atoms came from those stars. And all you can do is sit back and bask in your relevance to the cosmos. So for me, the deepest cosmic perspective there is, is recognizing that not only are we living in this universe, the universe is living within us.